knew this felt like a pay-per-view. We're in Chicago. Uh, you know, uh, a weekly broadcast TV show, and it felt like a pay-per-view. This place was sold out. Excuse me. What in the world are you thinking? Me, Gene, the first thing you need to do is to tell these people to shut up if you want to hear what I got to say. What up, y'all? It's KMV, the Sexy Ninja, in the place to be for a paper saber universe, and this is the New World Podcast, brother. We're talking about NXT, October 1st, 2024, the new show on the CW, new logo, new championships, new intro. I don't know how I feel about the intro yet, but it's... It's all new. This felt like a pay-per-view. We're in Chicago. Uh, you know, uh, a weekly broadcast TV show, and it felt like a pay-per-view. This place was sold out, the crowd going crazy, and it's all for NXT. And that logo, man, just nice, clean, the silver and everything like that, man. We got Vic and Booker on commentary, and we started off with Shawn Michaels. I'm just a sexy boy, sexy boy. Not your boy. Oh, man, it's good seeing him. And then he, he goes, then I got one question for y'all, because we introduced these new championships, and they look gold, the men's and women's. I'm wondering what else is going to get uh, new looks and stuff, the North American Championship and all that. But then he goes, I got a question for you. Then you're out of nowhere here. Are you ready? And it's it's a DX reunion here. Well, it's Sean and Triple H, but I always say it's a DX reunion. But yeah. And then we get we kick it off with the NXT Women's Championship, Roxanne Perez versus Julia. Whew, this was a B -b 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 banger folks i mean a banger man i had so much fun with this julia showcasing that she is the one of the best women out there and but roxanne retains this championship because of a returning cora jade which i pop for because i do really like cora jade i was like oh she's back and she caused julia so that's like we got some storytelling there. Ooh, you know, what's next for Roxanne? Who's the next? But Stephanie Van Cure, she's out there still. So will we see her get in Roxanne Perez's face next week? We shall see. Um, we really get a cool punk and uh, Alexis King backstage, you know, Lex saying like, hey, I don't want to be my dad. I want to be better than my dad, you know. And Punk's like, I can respect that. So that was a really cool moment between these two. We got a street fight, Wesley versus Zachary Wentz. Oh my goodness, this was awesome. I mean, they beat the crud out of each other, but Wesley stood victorious. What is next for Wesley? You know, I mean, this, this was a match. This was a really fun match. And I know Wes is like... I think uh, he got interviewed after the, not after this match, but he got interviewed at some point in the night where he's like, yeah, it's time to move on. It's time to go for the gold. It's time to uh, reclaim his glory, Wesley. So after putting Zachary Wentz and the Rascals behind him, we go into Miz TV and with uh, Oba Femi and Tony because they got a big match in St. Louis next week. This was fun. You know, Miz really knows how to play that crowd. You know, he you get a lot of, what, what? I'm Tony D'Angelo and... I I just feel like Miz knew how to weave the crowd to be like, all right, let's keep the narrative and everything. This is a big match, and it is a big match for the North American Championship. Tony went through the workout montages, remember? So then we get Jada and Lola versus Fatal Influence. And Fatal Influence indeed. Jada's not messing around. Jada's like, uh-uh, folks, I ain't messing around. And uh, Lola accidentally hits her again. And this is what makes Jada leave. And this is what makes Fatal Influence uh, take advantage of. And they get the win. And Kalani Jordan's on commentary, you know. And she she gets up and uh, Fatal Influence cuts a promo after JC Jane. Uh, and she's basically calling out Kalani. Kalani's like, you know what? Fine. You want to throw down? Let's throw down tonight. But I did not. I did, 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 did not come alone. What does she mean by that? We got Bianca and Jade as backup. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, and there was a really funny moment tonight. I saw, I got to see it on TikTok before I got to watch the show. 
uh, Punk had his referee outfit, the short shorts and everything. <laughs> and uh, he tells Triple H, like, hey, how's it look? He goes, ah. He goes, okay, well, what, man? Come on. And then Sean's like, no, no, absolutely not. And he's like, oh, the shorts? He goes, oh, I'm fine with the shorts. Give him back my hat. <laughs> he has his cowboy hat on. <laughs> but I will tell you this. Um, this was, I want to say a challenge to watch, but a challenge for myself to watch this show. I downloaded the CW app. I had I use I all my all the wrestling program I usually watch on Sling on my DVR and everything like that. Besides TNA, TNA I watch on TNA Plus, but uh, they no longer this this is for anyone and everyone listening who wants to watch this NXT premiere. The only way to watch it is either on your local Channel Seven News or something like that, or or, or, or the CW app, which it is free, but it's got ads like crazy. No, no joke. Got ads like crazy, man. There's like six to seven ads per in between. So that was getting annoying. Um, I, I, I got through as best I could. And then like it, the app itself is just is a little bit wonky. So anybody wanting to watch this new, new, new version of NXT, you know, you got to either download the app or you got to have it included. And it's not in, on Hulu no more. They usually do an hour uh special sh of the show on hulu they used to do that when they were in the usa network they do not do that no more you either have to have a live subscription in your hulu or you don't get it at all so the cw app is the way to go if you want to watch the show moving forward so just a heads up to everybody uh, NXT championship match punk is the special guest referee we get ethan page versus trick williams Ugh. I, I this lot a lot of heart and soul in this match, and it was really good to see our boy who 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 Trick Williams. He's our new new NXT champion, and we're gonna whoop that trick. Uh huh. Whoop that trick. Yeah. Whoop that trick. So Trick Williams is our new NXT champion, beating Ethan Page, and Ethan Page got in the face of CM Punk. CM Punk didn't have it, so do you know what he did to Ethan Page? He made him go to sleep. Ba -po! And, you know, this is the way we end the show. Ooh. A, a lot of stuff tonight. Cora Jade's back. You know, we got a new NXT champion. A lot of stuff going on, but it's it's awesome, man. And I, I had a lot of fun with this show. I'm And moving forward, I can't wait to see. I, I want to rewatch the Roxanne and Julia match. I, hopefully, I you know, I know... If anybody's like, man, I don't have time to watch them every week or stuff like that. I know on Peacock, they usually are three weeks, four weeks behind with uh, the shows being on there as an access. I don't know how things are going to be when the Netflix era hits. You know, I, I I think everything WWE will go there. And part of me is just like, man, I just wish TKO, look at this company, made an app for themselves. Oh, and just a quick... Uh, heads up to everybody who watches uh, AEW because things are changing. With things changing like NXT going to CW, things are changing with AEW. I usually watch all the pay-per-views on Bleacher Report. Bleacher Report will no longer carry um, the the pay-per-views live anymore. You got to go to the Triller, Thriller TV app or whatever, which I got. And anybody who has purchased a bunch of uh, AEW pay-per-views on the Bleacher Report app, Go look at your email. You should have got an email. It says like, hey, you know, slowly these pay-per-views are going to disappear from your library. And if you paid like I did for all these AEW pay-per-views, you do not want that. It gives you an option to uh, transfer all your pay-per-views to the uh, Thriller, tri whatever app, you know, the new fighting app. That's where you can watch the AEW pay-per-views. Um, and that's where you can um, transfer your library over. I did that immediately. I'm like, I'm not losing a single one of these pay-per-views. No way, no how. I put too much money and time and investment into them. So they are coming with me to this app. I miss the days of like owning them on physical media. I know you can still do that with uh, AEW, which I'm probably going to start doing um, if this is going to be the way. You know, So just a heads up for everybody there. But that's it. That's all. NXT, October 1st, 2024 in Chicago. New logo, man. New intro. New championships. Just a fresh coat of paint. Uh, Vic and Booker on commentary. My match of the night was Roxanne versus Julia. Even though it had to finish the way it did. But this was awesome.
awesome. Cora Jade's back. I love Cora Jade. So check out the show. Tell me what you think. Uh, what do you think of these new changes? And are you going to have a hard time watching NXT because of the whole CW situation? So I gave you some options. You can get the app or you can go subscribe to a live, the live, you know, having live TV on Hulu and stuff like that. So, or if you want to, they do the highlights on YouTube. You know, if you can't get to watch these, because that, that's that's going to be the, the 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 robbery of this um, move is that you got to go watch the highlights of these matches, even though these matches like the Roxanne and Julia, I, I don't think a highlight would do it justice. I think watching a full the full match. So that's why I gave the options of how you can watch it. So that's it. That's all the new eras here on CW or in uh, St. Louis next week. And I wonder if the stage will change on uh in the the performance center and the performance center is moving to las vegas so that could do a lot with it as well so i wonder if we're going to get a new stage once we go back to the performance center so we shall see but that's it that's all nxt october 1st 2024 vacant booker on commentary in chicago i give it a solid five out of five and remember that the new world podcast is for life brother Go get him, boys. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was ridiculous. Really